I'm with Riz Khan from Al Jazeera English. Hello. Hi, good to be with you. Thank you. Um, how are you finding the second World Healthcare Congress Middle East? Well, it's been really good to catch up with some, some old friends, um, you know, having uh, seen people from last year and catching up with them again. Um, it also it's, it's reinforces to me really what's happening in this region when it comes to issues such as healthcare. Uh, a lot of people tend to forget that in building a community, in building a, a country and a nation, that there are so many aspects to it. You know, it's not just about real estate and infrastructure in terms of roads. It's about building community and community support, which includes healthcare. And this part of the world actually has a, a number of major issues it needs to deal with from obesity to diabetes, which chronic is incredibly, disease. yeah, exactly. chronic diseases are very bad here. And I think I'm encouraged even more this year that there's a greater awareness of them. Mm -hmm. So that's been big. And what was your experience like as a moderator? Well, it's good. I mean, it's you know, always tough, uh, especially on the first day and the first couple of sessions, to get people uh, to talk, you know, to, to ask questions from the audience, from the participants. I like to think of them as participants and audience because it's meant to be for them. Uh, but they did. They got, they got into it. And I think uh, having a diverse range of people on the panels uh, has really helped because the range of views, um, it means that there's a greater wealth uh, of knowledge and a greater exchange of information uh, at a conference like this. So I enjoyed I mean, I, you know, I, I tend to be quite strict on time and things like this, so I try to keep it moving along. So <laughs> my thing, I, you know, I don't want them to do presentations and things. But uh, no, it's been good. It's been good. Why do you think it's so important to have an event like this and what does it mean to Abu Dhabi and the Middle East? Well, it's, you know, it's, it's key again because this part of the world is growing still like crazy. And in fact, that's one of the things that people uh, have to be aware of, that um, the, what they, what's on offer here is, is actually far better in terms of facilities and, and uh, opportunity than many, in many other parts of the world. So unless people get a chance to come and see what's possible, I mean, look at this, the center is amazing. You know, Adnek is just such a, a it's huge uh, and, and uh, custom-built uh, location. Um, I don't think people, a lot of people overseas realize they have these kinds of facilities here. But also it's important for uh, people uh, outside the region to know that the region is taking care of these key issues. Because ultimately we're more interconnected than ever across the globe. And the health concerns of this part of the world do link to health concerns in other parts of the world. Um, and I think it's important to show that the community here in Abu Dhabi and in the UAE in general is very integrated into uh, the global community. And this, this is an example of that. What are some of the most interesting uh, uh, ideas, discussions and innovations that you came across? As a moderator, you've attended mm -hmm. most of the discussions, no? Yeah, you know, what's, what uh, has got me, I mean, my background has a sort of medical in it. I I'd graduated in, in physiology, in medical physiology, specializing at that time in neurology. And, um, you know, the medical world is, has, has become a business world as well. So realizing that there's a, there's a business element to, you know, the industry, uh, the healthcare industry has been is more and more of an awakening for me because I mean as a as a young lad wanting to be a doctor and wanting to get into medicine it was all about just treating patients and now there's a great awareness of the need to be able to handle um, data the data infrastructure and gathering which was a big issue that was brought up here I was I was amazed with uh, Abu Dhabi's uh, you know move forward in so many areas such as data you know screening of patients and data collection which is crucial um, there's and medical errors are, are such a big issue uh, right, globally. And, yeah, and information actually helps reduce those errors. Better diagnost diagnostics, better co collaboration and cooperation between specialists in terms of dealing with cases, better case study references so that they, they can be a more accurate diagnosis. Diagnosis is one of the toughest things. Uh, and so I think that's been a big factor in, uh, in moving things forward. That, that struck me at this conference, how much the, the developing and streamlining the business side especially at a time of uh, global economic stress uh, is, is important and how there's been a lot of focus on that. Uh, that was a key, key thing that came out. And just generally the fact that there are so many great healthcare specialists in this region looking to move things forward. I, I see leapfrogging here which parts of the developed world you know, uh, haven't, haven't even thought about yet. So that's great. Maris Khan, always a pleasure having you with us at the World Healthcare Conference. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.